Do you want to become a world famous singer? Find out what it takes, get tips and more in this episode. Hi, I am Trixie Esguera and this is Good News Filipinas TV. Sa araw na ito, we have a special guest to talk about new songs and songwriting amid the pandemic. Let's meet singer-songwriter, producer, multi-talented artist, and the Asia's Phoenix, Morissette. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Bob is Chixi. Hello! Kamusta ka ngayong araw na ito? I am doing very good. Kayo po, kamusta po? We're good and we can see it in your face. Talaga namang masaya. <laughs> Morissette, so... Congratulations on all your successes. And um, you have been labeled as Asia's Phoenix. No? It's, I believe it's an immortal bird in the Greek mythology. So what does this mean to you? Sa akin, actually, yun nga, parang, when I was given that title, when I, when I was asked to perform in Korea and South Korea, parang, syempre, there's that pressure kasi syempre, we all know there's Asia's Songbird, uh, Miss Stretch, there's Asia's Nightingale, Miss Lani, and to be named after a phoenix and of that caliber, diba? So parang, oh my gosh. <laughs> Pero I, am, I, am, I, I love being, Im- being able to ano, just embody also what a phoenix stands for, and I love... Um, it, what it symbolizes, na yun nga, is parang rising up from the ashes and rising up from, in, at least in my case, like from obstacles and just choosing to move forward po talaga. Beautiful, beautiful. So tanggap na tanggap. <laughs> Thank you. In 2020, <laughs> Maury said, your song was at number seven on the Billboard uh, Next Big Sound chart, no? which made you the first female OPM artist to achieve that. Ooh. How does it feel like to be recognized on the global stage? It's 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 super crazy and I'm just super grateful po talaga to the fans who have been working so hard and especially in the past year just being being able to go into songwriting and producing which is really just my first time but of course I have I have an amazing team um that's supporting me and backing me up throughout the this whole process super grateful po talaga ako sa mga fans kasi sila yung nag effort and parang Kunwari, parang sila yung nagma-marketing. And especially coming from um, a new team, which is Underdog Music, which is also under stages, my management. So parang, I, I'm super, super grateful na tinanggap lang din ng fans yung, yung parang itong growth ko, itong path na gusto kong i-take i- uh, just to be able to grow as an artist. Super kilig po ako. Super, super grateful po talaga. <laughs> Ramdam ko kung gaano ka ka-thankful. It really shows. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> tip no, for everybody. Tama. Yes. So, Morissette, you've not only made it um, on the international music charts, but you've also co-hosted a global talent program, which is, I think, Asian Dream, with one of yes. the world's best balladeers, Michael Bolton. So what did you learn from him? I, I learned a lot. <laughs> Actually, at that time, when I was able to work with Michael Bolton, I hindi pa ako a songwriter. And around oh. that season of my life, parang, so, lagi kong dinideny yung songwriting, lagi ko sinasabi na hindi, hindi para sa akin yun. Pero he was just super generous in giving his parang tips and advice na parang, and he even shared na sabi niya, nag-start siya as a songwriter super late na actually, mga 20s, mga 27 daw, mga ganun. And so, parang ako being, right now, I'm currently 25, so parang halos, medyo siguro sabay. Like, I'm not, I'm not same as the other people na started early. This is definitely a new skill na I had to really work hard to develop. Pero, yun, parang, it's, ang lagi sinasabi na nila, it's, it's really like a muscle na kailangan lang natuloy-tuloy yung parang practice and pag-develop para uh, ma-improve unti-unti, para pag-workout. And so, kaya ako ngayon, kahit na hindi ko talaga siya like parang strength talaga, pero I am I'm taking the chance to really grow into the craft and hopefully I ma ma mailabas din talaga yung gusto ko mailabas through music. And so, ayan, Michael Bolton was just being able to, he was just very encouraging and very, and dami lang din yan talagang parang payo na Na, sige lang, maybe it's not right now, but maybe in the future it'll come to you naturally. And it really did. It really did. Beautiful. Beautiful tip. Thank you, Morissette. So Thank that's you. him as your mentor and that's the message no, that you got from him. <laughs> no, para dun sa mga taong wala naman talagang mentor, no? But let's say, just like you, 
um, you ventured into songwriting. At uh, alam mm-hmm. sabi mo nga, yun, mo lang siya recently. So what is your number one tip for people who also want to venture into something new in their lives, but they don't have a mentor or they are afraid? Yes. Oh, that's actually super perfect. Because ako yun nga, I, I went through it. I think ako as a very as a singer and performer, because I'm super um yun tinatawag lang OCD like super ang taas ng standards ko for myself and so one of the things that i learned um especially throughout this songwriting and producing process is but i'm not be too hard on yourself <laughs> don't be too hard on yourself especially because this is something new but at the same time parang i-embrace mo lang yung process na yun it's not gonna happen overnight especially if yung parang dinip dinip mo lang muna yung toes mo into that craft pero if you just really work hard to to developing that it'll come eh. and i know so many artists and people na hindi naman talaga parang they found that skill late pero dahil yun nga sobrang gusto nilang gawin yun and sobrang gusto nilang or passion nila na ituloy yun they were able to actually get to where they are kaya you just don't you just have to remember na na okay kasama to sa process na hindi mo na siya maging perfect for my first few tries that probably in the future unte unte at least i'm doing stuff something diba na parang you're taking that step in order to be where you want to be diba so yeah beautiful <laughs> oh mga ka good news and daming Thank tips noon <laughs> and be kind to yourself no trust the process you know Amen. sabi ni Morris <laughs> you have made us all you know proud with your achievements now i want to ask you what makes you proud to be a Filipino? As a Filipino, I think just because especially, especially ngayon, but even all the way back, parang, and people don't realize how parang Filipinos have always been, ano ba tawag, tamang term, parang an, maingay all over the world. Like, of course, in the likes of um, Senator Manny Pacquiao, in the likes of Miss Leia Salonga, we've always, there's there's always have, there there have always been Filipinos around and have always carried the flag. And so all the more ngayon with the internet and with OPM na we're able to really reach out to other countries. And ako, I'm super, I'm super thrilled and super happy ako na, na hindi ko ina, inakala, especially with the originals that I have put out in the past year, na ang daming, ang daming mga, ang daming kong na-reach na audiences na I never thought I would have before. And ako, I'm just in my position right now as an artist in general. I'm just super happy that I get to share my music and share OPM with the world. And I'm super and all the more, I'm super happy because we are being recognized. And it's just like K-pop and just like um, how South Korea probably did it. It, it just, it'll, it'll, we'll have our time also na mga Pinoy naman yung uh, ano talaga and like, and nandun sa Hollywood talaga and Billboard and it's already happening. <laughs> Kaya dapat tuloy-tuloy lang po talaga kasi alam mo naman yung spirit talaga ng Pinoy. Yeah. Ano talaga parang... Walang makakatalo dyan. Pahahanap ng paraan. Kaya here we are. Tama. We're still standing after tama, everything. Tama. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are rooting for you. Know that. And thank, um, thank you so much, Morissette, for this interview. Please share your upcoming projects to our viewers. Yes, to everybody. Um, I am currently out actually with two EPs. Um, one is called Signature. This is my very first co-written and co-produced EP. Um, and the second one naman is the EP that I worked on with my now husband, Dave Lamar. It's called From the Sea. Meron kami mga duets doon. I'm also going to be having tours in the States. Um, one is for Mad About Love that's happening in February and March. And in April naman po, uh, it's called Thrillogy. And yun naman po ay kasama ko po si Kuya Christian Bautista and si Kuya Eric Santos. And I'm, I'm just super happy na we're able to slowly get back into doing things again. Pero of course, we have to be responsible people. Kaya sige lang, makakarating din tayo sa kung saan man tayo before. And it's only just a matter of time till dito din sa Pilipinas makakashow na rin tayo ulit ng in person just praying for that pero yun po and of course my social media accounts I'm in YouTube Facebook Instagram TikTok I'm all there kaya please like and follow yun na po and marami ask- salamat Maurice thank you so sa ating mga ka good news ang dami niyan sinabi let me know anong iyong takeaway sa mga shinare ni Maurice ngayong araw na to Please comment below.
Abangan ang ating mga susunod pa na episode ng Filipino Pride Newsmaker. This is Trixie Esguera for Good News Filipinas TV.